Oh, those readers at the Don Cerber blog make me so mad. Do we know one another? Oh, sorry. I'm Tom Tolles, a cartoonist for the Washington Post. Those Cerber fans say stupid stuff like, it's cold out. Where's your global warming now? I see. Was this ever funny? Or is it the wit of a grinning fool? I see. Climate science has reasonably postulated that a large increase in CO2 could cause a significant shift in the climate that would otherwise not occur. I see. The risks forecast included massive environmental shocks that could affect everything from agriculture to oceans to virtually every ecosystem and its species. I see. Now the science is only more conclusive, and we are still resisting even the reasonable, prudent, risk-hedging responses, on the hope, the now willfully blind hope, that the science is not just imperfect, but assuredly, completely, and deliberately wrong, that in fact it is a purposeful, lying hoax. I see, so these, what do you call them? Denial all lists. Thank you, these denial all lists are so set in their ways, that they will not accept new ideas. Yes. Yet you yourself will not accept the idea, that maybe your imperfect science got it wrong. Do you know what Norman Baker said? Who? He is a liberal politician back home in Britain. In 2004 he said, Britons will soon be left with only dreams of a white Christmas, as the chances of it actually happening become more remote. I see. In 2000, a columnist wrote, Britain's winter ends tomorrow with further indications of a striking environmental change, snow is starting to disappear from our lives. Sledges, snowmen, snowballs and the excitement of waking to find that the stuff has settled outside are all a rapidly diminishing part of Britain's culture as warmer winters, which scientists are attributing to global climate change, produce not only fewer white Christmases, but fewer white Januaries and Februaries. I see. Last year, we had a white Christmas, after going 50 years with only six. That is just weather. Do you know why I'm here? No. I am waiting for them to clear the snow at Heathrow, so I can fly home. And enjoy my second consecutive white Christmas.